Hi, guys. Hi, Rachel. Hi. 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 Uh, to start, I really love, you know, that not only is this like a time period that I think a lot of people love to kind of like look at and vision in different ways, but I also love how vibrant the sets are and the costumes and everything brings it all together. And so how did that help you guys as actors, you know, filming on these sets that look like Miami from way back when, but also like the costumes and everything else all together? It was such an amazing suspension of disbelief walking onto those sets. I I just felt like I was being transported into a, another world in such a great way and it helped everyone's performance, I think. And for me personally, the costumes and the hair and makeup were a huge element of Janice that I, I've never experienced having costume and makeup and hair feel so important and intrinsic to the character because Janice wears some pretty wild stuff. I mean, she works in the nightclub, in the Mutiny Hotel in the 1970s, and the looks are a lot and they're great. And I felt like it really helped my help me find who she was when I stepped onto those sets. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, I think that, yeah, stepping into, into onto set was um, breathtaking, really. Um, for any set that you look at, every single corner that you look at, you, yeah. there is a detail there and, and it's not, you, you can't look over it. Like it, yeah. it really, really helped me step into character and also a really funny thing I don't know if I've told you guys um the first thing that I said when I got this role is that Valeria's favorite color is purple that's true oh, yeah and morado yeah the first uh time I stepped in into her bedroom her her bed her bed sheets mm -hmm. were all purple and so like that yeah. helped me so much like really yeah. be like okay this is real yeah you know yeah also film and television is a very collaborative art yeah so every piece like nothing is an accident every piece mm -hmm. makes sense it's a very good piece of a puzzle so um for us to you know get all the costumes and being in your home or your club or it really puts things into place and also the way it's seen, like our the main director of our show is uh, Guillermo Navarro and his sense of aesthetics is mm. very, very high. Mm. Um, so everything from the camera movement, uh, from the light, you can make it seem more sexy in the club and more funky and disco, but then you go home and it's romantic and it's warm and it's cozy. And then you have the dangerous part of it, the aesthetic, the dangerous dark, you know, I think, you know, so yeah, I feel like everything falls into place. Mm -hmm. Everything is perfectly aligned. Yeah, and kind of in that same vein, what you, what you were talking about with the color purple, it makes me think about like, you know, a lot of people are connected to music when they're preparing for something and they'll make a playlist or they'll listen to a certain song or there's like certain things that you can kind of pick apart to help you get into the mindset. Is Was there anything with this and more specifically like with this time period that really helped you guys to like get into that mindset when you guys were on set outside of just like, you know, the directions and everything like that? Yeah, well, I did make a playlist yeah. of other areas. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it helped me a bunch. I, um, I would listen to it every morning that I was on set and it really helped me get into character. And I also kept adding to it as her, um, as she developed and as I uh, understood her better um and yeah you can really see the difference from the first songs yeah. <laughs> to the last songs <laughs> yeah. yeah and I also you know I love how the mutiny club gets to kind of be this over the top aspect of a show because I was talking to Michael and Mark before and I was saying how you know most of the like DEA agent stuff that we have in our media is very serious where this gets to have a little bit more of a lighter energy with the mutiny club is that for you a more fun way, more fun way, a, a more interesting way of looking at these stories to have a lighter edge to them? So then we are, you know, brought in by the glitz and glamour of that, but then see the reality of what was going on. I think that it definitely sets Hotel Cocaine apart from mm -hmm. a lot of crime thrillers and shows about drug wars that we've seen in the past. And kind of to what you're saying it 
I like that it draws you in and it's fun and it's entertaining entertaining and it's just the lights and the colors and the vibrancy and the music. It's also intoxicating, but that's really just the facade of the show. And at its core, it's this family drama and also looking and never losing sight of the, the real cost of these drug wars on human lives. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that the, the, the different things, you know, coming together creates a really interesting friction and um, an unusual kind of palette for audiences to explore. Yeah. And, and I think that like when you're watching it, there are these super um, heartwarming, not heartwarming, like um, hard scenes to watch, mm. you know, and they're very deep and very emotional. And then the next scene is like especially with mark burton oh, mm -hmm. um it's kind of like a breath of fresh air oh, you yes. know like you get to breathe for a second and have fun and then and yeah. then delve back into the hardships and the and the struggle yeah mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and well now you mentioned burton and i kind of want to ask a fun question because i do love that he's just like hanging out with rick james and like <laughs> he's got people <laughs> around him and i think it's very funny but is there like someone from the 70s and 80s that you guys would be like, hey, I wish this person got to kind of hang out. Like I got to hang out with them, either as yourself or your character. Freddie Mercury. I wasn't going to say. Oh, yes. I, I was say. loved. Oh, that Good would have been one. so amazing. Oh. What about is Stevie Nicks? Is that? Oh, my God. Yes. 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 Could, we have her? <laughs> Could we have her? Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, is is Janis Jan Joplin from the time? Wait. Early, more early 70s? Yeah, yes, I think yes her. her. <laughs> oh, that would have been. <gasps> Imagine Burton having a conversation with these people. Yeah. And Janice would then also have a conversation okay. with them. <laughs> yeah. Freddie would have loved Janice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love the idea. Of I mean, that's what's so fun about the club is that in real life, it was this convergence of narcs and CIA and FBI and movie stars and celebrities yeah, and musicians and models. It was, you know, a really unusual mix of people. Hmm. And it really happened. Yeah. And I like what you guys were saying earlier, too, about the it is a, at its core, like a family drama on top of everything else. Does that help you guys? in grounding your characters when you do have this more like realistic drama that we're pulling back to every single time? Like, is it, would, would, sorry, what's the question again? Like, does it help you guys in grounding your characters and like making them more real and realize knowing that you have that to go back to when there yeah. are those more outrageous moments? Yeah. For, for me in, in the sense, I don't have anything to go back to. That's my only reality. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So only when I wasn't working and I had some free time, I would go to the club and see what was going on. But until um, I actually saw clips of, you know, the other storylines, I didn't really know what was going on. Like, yes, you read it on the script and you know what's going on, but you don't really know. Mm -hmm. So to me, my only, only reality is, ah, Roman comes back home. He tells me something. We argue or yeah. we make up or whatever. It's all good. But... Uh, it was only after that I realized, oh, no, no, this is the other thing that's going on. Yeah, yeah. Same for me. Mm -hmm. Same. But I, I also think that human relationships and the, the drama between people is at the core of all of the different elements because it's still a, sh it's a show about two brothers. It's a show about mm -hmm. a family. It's a show about people who work together and are trying to kind of create a family mm -hmm. within the nightclub because they don't have one on the outside of the nightclub. And, and you know, what happens when drama starts to threaten that and yeah. what people will do to protect it. And I, so I think there's, there's drugs and parties and music and it's fabulous and it's fast, but it is really about people yeah. who love each other and are trying mm -hmm. to protect each other. Yeah. Which yeah. is relatable in any time. Mm -hmm. in yeah. Because now we're going to see it from the eyes of 2024, but all these emotions and relationships, we're all going to relate to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Um, and I can't wait for everyone to get to see the series. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you so much.